look this paper is divided into equal sized squares if we put objects on this paper the bigger object will cover more squares now we have put a coin a stamp and another object on the paper which object covers highest number of squares the object which covers the highest number of squares has the largest area isn't it so in this case the one rupee note has the largest area so what is the area of this triangle we have to count the number of small squares it covers but it covers some squares half only two halves make one square so if you count it exactly covers 18 small squares so the area of this triangle is 18 squares we can calculate this in one more way let us make a square from the triangle by extending the lines in each direction such that each side of the square is made of six small squares now the triangle is part of this square right so the area of the square is equal to six rows of six small square each which will be six into six 36 small squares so that is the area of square the triangle is half of the square means the triangle's area is half of the squares area which is equal to 36 by 2 which is 18 to put it more simply if we divide the big square into two triangles by connecting the two corners each triangle would be half of the whole square now look at it in a different way let us make a big triangle abc by placing the two triangles of the square on the left side by side like a mirror image this big triangle ABC is covering 36 small squares means its area is 36 square centimeters same as the area of square so the square and the big triangle covers the same area now we take a rectangle lengthwise it covers the 10 small squares and widthwise five small squares so total would be 10 columns and five rows which is 50 square units if we divide the rectangle into two triangles by connecting two corners each triangle would cover 25 units means triangle is half of the rectangle so is this true for any quadrilateral here is another quadrilateral look the diagonal does not divide it into two equal triangles here there are two triangles inside the rectangle the triangles look different but if you look very closely you will find that they cover the same number of squares that is same area so no matter how many triangles you draw inside a rectangle with base as AB and height same as the width or breadth of the rectangle their area would be same because if you count the squares you will find that the area of each triangle is half of the rectangle here which shape has the larger area we have a square with length of side as 10 units and a rectangle with length as 10 units and width as 5 units we can easily tell that a square has the larger area it has an area of 100 square units 10 into 10 which is equal to 100 square units the rectangle has 50 square unit area 10 into 5 length into width this way we can measure area of many things like the area of this leaf if the number of unit squares it covers is equal to n then its area is n square units as every square is a unit square which has one square centimeter of area that's all for now bye bye